you do is as we're palpating in the TMJ, it's along the side, just the anterior to the earlobe. And you can find the TMJ right here. You're going to ask the patient to open their mouth and to close it. In your feeling palpation, you're looking for crepitus, you're looking for any restrictions that take place. As I visually look at the TMJ or look to see when the patient's opening his mouth, is the lower teeth lining up with the upper teeth? Is there any deviation with mouth opening and closing? Uh, you can often see a C pattern, as it's called, which might indicate a restriction to one side of the TMJ, or an S pattern as the mouth is opening and closing. The S pattern can be more of a capsular problem or a muscle imbalance of pterygoids. Okay? So one of the first things we're going to do if a patient's coming in with TMJ problems is to do a uh, mobility testing and mobilization. So the open pack position, quite honestly, is just to have the patient just slightly open their mouth so that their teeth aren't uh, biting down together. You're going to take the patient and stabilize their head against your chest. And from this position, I'm, I'm going to go around the chin, and I'm going to have them slightly open the mouth, please. And I'm going to do a lateral and medial glide. And what I'm doing uh, is a lateral glide. If I'm taking the patient's mandible to the left, it's a lateral glide on the left, and it's a medial glide to the right TMJ. And I can do the same the other way. Do a right glide laterally with a medial glide on the left TMJ. This would be testing.